Hi, everybody. This is Will Paper here once again with Darcy Brancini and Calvin. So how's it gone this week, Calvin, with Calvin? It's gone really well. Um, I think before we got on camera or before we started Zoom, um, Ron mentioned that we did a couple ground pole, like we did one day of just some ground poles on the ground, mm -hmm. and that went really yeah. well. Um, he's funny. He sees the ground pole, and like he'll actually drag me over there. He wants to go like walk and he'll walk <laughs> over them too. I'm like, what are you doing? Well, there you go. <laughs> um, he's very, he seems to be like him actually. Um, and I did some canter work under saddle this week and actually going to the right, I got a beautiful canter with a full stretch um, out of him. Going to the left, I didn't really get that. So I just try it every once in a while to see kind of how it's going to go. And he was really good going to the right. Well, you are on your way. Well, today um, we can skip the work in hand. We're going to actually just do a little work in hand in Piaf when we finish the lunging. So we'll go ahead and, and lunge. And okay. then after the lunge, we'll do a couple of steps of Piaf and then put you on. Okay. And I have a side reins on. Do you, since we're not doing it in hand work, do you want to start without them and then? Yeah, let's just let him stretch once and see how he does. That'd be okay. good. So before we turn the camera on, there Darcy was talking about how she was feeling a little, uh, how did you put it, a little trepidatious about... Um, no, I feel like I have to perform because we had a perform good... Perform now. Yeah. <laughs> Not what you did last week, yes. <laughs> so. And I don't know what I'll get, so... No, we never do. We never worry about it. Uh -uh. Where are you going? <clears throat> Okay, I guess go through there. Mm -hmm. That's pretty amazing, that actually, that he could bend that nicely around that thing. <laughs> yeah. Actually, pretty much bent right around it. He's ready for barrel racing. <laughs> okay, come on. He already went pee, but he might have to go poop. Mm -hmm. Come on. We all know his routine now, right? <laughs> yep. Come on. Okay, you gotta wake up. Eyes coming very quickly. I think he's going to go poop. That's perfectly fine. Looks like he's about to do it. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on. Looked like he was about to. He's lifted his tail there. But... He did. I know. That's what I saw. So I was like, he's going to poop. Come on. Always interesting to watch those watching this and for yourself. Like, Looking at his belly right now, it's, well, it's not really pendulous, but it's pretty out there a little bit. <clears throat> we'll watch that as we watch him pull it up as we begin the work. Come on. Come on. If you can keep opening that walk up while he's walking, unless he wants to stop and go. Come on. Seems to like that spot right up in there. <laughs> Let him stop and see if he'll go again. He like usually he does be. in the beginning of yeah. our... There he goes. Uh, like he's trying to get it out. Not in a big hurry. Yeah, I don't think he's going to go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Maybe. There he goes. <laughs> He's taking his time. Come on, go. He's like, they'll all wait for me. 
There he goes, and the waterfall begins. Okay. Come on. Walk on. Some just need a little more time in the bathroom than others. <clears throat> He does move so much better after he goes. He certainly does. That's why it's worth the wait. And quite happily. Do you see that strange step he's taking with his back left every once in a while? You keep going there. Getting better. Come on. Big walk. <laughs> I'm going to let him trot a little bit. Ready? And trot. And trot. I know. We all know. <laughs> <laughs> you prefer not to. Just takes him a couple of minutes to get all the blood going. Nice. There we go. <clears throat> Notice how his belly is already starting to come up a little bit, even though he's still being a little bit of a Gangster out there. <laughs> there we go, it's getting better. Yeah, it's starting to look good. Very nice. Come on. There you go. Go ahead and ask him to canter once while we've got him on the loose rein. It's a really nice trot right there, starting to happen. Ready. Good boy. Go ahead and come back to a trot now. And trot. Just to do a few of those. Yeah, really good in that trot now. There, yeah, really starting to swing. Beautiful. Really nice. Much more like it. Go ahead and ask him to canter again. Ready? Good trot now. Canter. Boy, answer. Come on. Let's keep going. A couple more strides. And then come back to the trot again. And trot. So that neck is getting out in front of him there. Really big keep in that stretch now. Really nice. I like this. Very nice. Very nice. Like that. Keep it. Good boy. And go ahead and let him walk and change directions. And walk. And then halt, of course. And what a lovely free trot that was by the end of that. Yeah. It's really come a long way. It has really come a long way. As my father would say, starting to look like a horse. <laughs>
Okay, hold on. Come here. Come here. <coughs> Walk on. That's a boy. Good. Come on. Walk on. There you go. I like it. Uh, go ahead and ask him to trot. Ready? And trot. And trot. <laughs> Come on. Oh, stop. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Reluctant athlete. Yeah. <laughs> Once he gets going, looks really great there. I'm a little slow to get going myself these mornings. He's a lot younger though. He doesn't have any excuse, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's his body type. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the big Big bone gal. <laughs> yeah, good, good now. Good boy. As you come around to the other side there, ask him again. Really good trot now. Ready? Once again, let's have this plank. Canter. Coming in. Come on, canter. Nice, really nice. Look at that. That's really good. Really good. Come on, really good. That's the first time we've seen that. That good. We've seen him putting his neck off, but that's really good. Excellent. Now, keep that. Come on. Keep a few more strides. Nice. Now bring him back to the trot. Can trot. Now, that was the first. That was right? the Really, really good. Another big stretch again. Come on. Come on. Now go ahead and let him, as soon as he stretches again. Now let him walk again. I want to go back and just do that other side one more time and see if we can get that canter a little better since that was so good on that side. Let's go back the other way again. Okay. Walk on. Walk. Come on. <clears throat> Very Uh, really nice walk that started from the baby before you started to stretch. And, and go ahead and trot. Ready? And trot. And trot. Trot. Good boy. Really good. Really excellent, right there. All right. As you come to the next wall, ask him to canter. Ready? Canter. Come on, canter. Come on, canter. Hey, canter. And 
trot. <laughs> All right, go ahead and try again. Ready? Enter. There we go. Good. Good. See if you can keep it going. See if we can just keep it going long enough to get his neck out in front of him a little bit. There you go. Starting to happen there. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Keep it going. 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 Get one more. Yes, like that. Good. Now come back to a trot. Good trot. Good. That was good. Let him trot again. Excellent work. Come on. Trot. Much improved in the canter. Yeah. Now let him go ahead and walk and halt. Let's go ahead and put your side reins on for a minute and we'll just bring him up. Yeah, it's funny. That's the first time I think I've seen him do that in the going left. That was really great. I mean, that one direction, and he'll have it the other way very soon. That was good. What a good boy, Calvin. <clears throat> You're a good boy. You'll be out galloping cross country before you know it. <laughs> <clears throat> no, no, this way. Come on. Okay, come on. <clears throat> that would be nice. Boy, I see the fly thing. Come on. Good boy. Good. And ask him to trot. Ready? And trot. And trot. And trot. But didn't I do this already? Trot. Yeah, right. Boy. Good. Come on. Yep. Good boy. Yeah. Okay. Keep that going. Much better there, good, really good. Really good work there. Keep it going. Good, keep that. Good. Let him walk again. And walk. And walk. And go ahead and uh, halt and shorten your side reins by about three holes on each side. By three holes. Okay. Let me see what that does. Excuse <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> me.
ready? Walk on. Walk on. Come on. Walk on. <laughs> See if you can make that walk a little more active, putting, putting a little shoulder forward on your circle there to help you bring him up into the contact there. Good. Good. Go ahead and ask him to trot. Ready? And trot. And trot. Nice. Don't be like that. Come on. Come on. Good boy. <laughs> now try to keep him positioned a little shoulder four on your circles to help him keep engaging that inside hind leg if you're bringing him up into this position like that. Good. Good Oh, 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 oh. Trot. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, that's more like it. Come on. Come on. Keep that going. Just looking for this to settle it down a little bit. There we go. Like this. Good. It's getting better. Keep that. Good. Good, that's more like it. Keep that going. There's good. Good, good. Now ah, we're getting there. Right there. And when he gets a little bit too low, if he drops his head like a little too low, push him a little more shoulder four, and that will bring him up a little bit. Like that. Good job. Now let him walk again. And walk. Good boy. And to go ahead and halt and change directions again. One last time. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. You're looking at me like, why? I don't want to do any more work. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Calvin. A little more. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. Walk on. Good boy. Walk on. Walk on. Yes, you gotta walk. Walk. You're <laughs> <laughs> slower here all of a sudden. You can go ahead and ask him to trot. He's uh -uh. being a little piggy there. Ready? And trot. And trot. Good boy. Come on. I know. We have so much of him. <laughs> uh, that's more like it. Keep that going. Come on. Come on. Trot. Uh, let's get him out of there. Good. Keep that. A little more active one time, see if we can get him just a little more push off his back end. That's getting better. There, there, keep it going. Keep it going. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I'm starting to have some swing. There we go. I like that. He just settles all the way in like this. Good. Keep that.
Good. Keep it. Very nice. Now, now let him walk. Or we wear him out. That's better. And you can go ahead and halt. Now, as I said, once you get your reins on there, we'll try a couple of steps to pee off with him today before you get up. Okay. There we go, boy. Well, I got a new hot spot here for my house so for internet working so much better. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I haven't had any pixelating at all. It's working perfectly. Oh, smoothly. good. No. I think Ron just told me that they ran fiber down our street, so I think we have fiber optics now instead of... Oh, nice. But I'm not sure. I don't pay that close attention to that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I'm in the tech uh, you industry. Did it, you had to download and upload things all the time, as I do. It's like, yeah. That would be crazy. Well, ironically, I'm in the tech industry, and I barely pay attention to stuff like that. <laughs> Um, actually, while I'm doing all this, can you tell me, like, so I, you know, I came from, like, beginner novice eventing. That was as far as I ever went when I was younger. <laughs> um, so the pee off, like, I guess, what is that all about? Like, what's the, is there a purpose behind it? Because I know dressage is sent, it technically means the word training, right? So, yes. like, what's the history there? Well, the Piaf is how we, is really the foundation of collection. Because ah. it's how we teach the horse to really bend its hocks. Ah. If it is done correctly. Now, however, the way it's being taught today, where people are whipping horses in the front legs to teach them how to do it, um, is, is totally backwards. And of course, results, the reason they're having to do that is because how they're training everything else. If you have 10,000 pounds in your hands when you are riding a horse and you try to pee off it from the ground, it's just going to bolt away from you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's why they've reverted to this new style of training pee off, which is whipping one leg at a time. They're teaching a horse actually to stamp its legs rather than to do a real oh. pee off. Yeah. You know, which lowering of the three joints of the hind legs. So what, that's what it does when it's done correctly is it teaches this horse how to lower and take more weight behind. I see. So it's useful for the training of any horse. You know? Yeah. It's done correctly. If it's done incorrectly, it's just like everything else done incorrectly, ultimately is damaging. Come on. <laughs> yeah, so just take him to the wall there. It's probably good. And once again, we always want to, you always want to come to the wall and just let him stand there for a moment. Don't ask him to do anything at all. You just put your reins over his head. You can even reward him a bit if you want to when we're first doing this. Because I always want them to associate this with something good. So it's not a bad idea when you first come over here just to give him a little something. you got a treat in your pocket to give him a little taste of something. And now remember, so what we're looking to do, we want to, we want the horse to activate and actually just push off of a diagonal pair like it's trotting rather than just lift one leg at a long. Okay. So that's what we're trying to get them to do when we're tapping up on top is just to get them to move a diagonal pair. So give it a try without just taking off and running away from it. So start very gently and try to increase instrumentally till you just, yeah, like that. Good. <laughs> tap again. So I want a little more of a step. Give him a little more of a tap. Like that. Good. Now stop and pat him on the neck. That's good. He just activated. That's good. Just pat him on the neck. That's good. So you got the idea. Oh, I'm supposed to move my legs. 
Now go ahead and do that one more time. Uh -huh. Now just keep enough feel. So we want to actually not let him move forward if we can, but just by giving and taking, never by holding it back. So there should never be any, you know, held restraint in your hand again. So it's just giving and taking always back to the weight of the ring. Yeah, so go ahead and try that one more time. Up on top, you're gonna to give him a little tap, straighten out your whip. Yeah, tap. Yeah, you have to get a little quicker, try right, to straighten him out again. Tap up on top, there, good. Couple of taps, increase, there you go, good. Boy. And again, do it one more time, he's not taking off, so that's a good thing. I still wanna see if we can get him to lift the diagonal pair a little more. So once again, you're gonna tap him right on top. And again, tap. Ow, my foot. <laughs> Oh, watch your feet. They didn't step on it. And again, tap on top. There, good. Tap again. Tap. Tap again. In the move a little bit. Increase the activity. And you could not move around where you tap. So don't, always, maybe it's a different spot. Two inches one way could make the difference in the world. Okay. Good. Now one more time. Over. Back up on top. And we're going to do that again. Over. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Yes, you are. <laughs> and just give a little tap up on top. There, good. Stop. That's good. He lifted his leg. That's all I want. Pat him on the neck, and you're done. That's all. <laughs> just takes a while. So we're, that's all we're looking for him is him just lift up a diagonal pair right now. That's all that okay. it is. Without taking and getting the idea that he's to move yet without taking off anywhere. You know, okay. We want him to stay in place. So that was really good. Hey, Ron, can you hand me that towel? I'm like... Sandy and sweaty. It's not a good combination. <laughs> oh, sure, I guess. Give him one. Now you just put it in his face. You're a good boy. He's like, wait, you've been holding out on me. I never give him sugar cubes because of all his, because he gets fat so easily. <laughs> uh -huh. I give him these like low sugar snacks that he loves. Well, he loves them. But Ron just gave him a sugar cube. Now he's like, what's this? <laughs> oh, boy. I like that. Well, one's not going to kill him. Come here. <clears throat> I just want another drink. Pretty warm there. It's 83 in here, but it's also, um, it's just really humid. humid today. It's not, it doesn't feel like temperature wise, it doesn't feel like it's that bad, but. I don't know, as I've gotten older, like I feel like the heat really bothers me. It never used to. <laughs> yeah, I feel very much the same way. You don't need to get your foot tangled in that. I don't have any more. I don't. I don't. <laughs> uh, sugar cubes spoil them. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I actually go back and forth, and like some days I'll have treats on me, but some days I don't. Because otherwise, yeah. if they're always on me, he just yep. constantly tries to get them on my pocket. <laughs> Okay, let's go large in that walk. It's already starting to stretch into it. 
moving pretty actively. You just keep that going around the ring once. Like are we starting to go into the stretch already? I'm trying to open it up a little more, getting a little more swing and a little deeper stretch. Very nice. That's a really good walk starting off this morning, starting to really swing through. Really nice. And go ahead and turn by the center line down here and do a leg heel to the right. There. Let's do that one more time and just see if we can keep him a little more parallel to the rail as he's moving over. Kind of his hindquarters were a little bit trailing behind. Yeah. A little too much on that last one. Let's try that again. Yeah, that's better. Keep that going. A little more step over. Good. Like good position now. That's more like it. Good. Very nice that time. Much better. Keeping that big stretch in the walk. Change across the next diagonal. It's good to be a little more active. There we go like that. Always be conscious whenever you feel it starting to slow down. Try to always keep the engine running at the same pace. So when you feel it's starting to slow down, do something about it before he slows all the way down. Nice right, here. Go ahead and turn by the center line and leg deal to the left. Yeah, good. Keep that all the way over. Really good. Really good work. Excellent. I'll go right on to a circle right there at ease. You're on a 20-meter circle. Of course, whenever I say circle, I mean the width of the arena. Good. And now just begin to bring him up into a working walk. So as you do, as you start to bring him up, think of putting him a little bit shoulder four. So your shoulder four helps you. You keep engaging that inside hind leg as you bring him up in the reins a little bit more. Trying to keep the same activity that we had. If you have to back it up a little tap of the whip from time to time, that's okay. Like right now, it'd be good to give him a little tap, bring it on up a little bit more, give him a little tap to see if we can keep getting him come up a little bit more. Yeah, keep shortening your reins. Let's bring him on up a little bit more and see where we can come to. Keep shortening your reins. Bring him on up, on up a little bit more. Think you can come on up a little bit more. Keep shortening your reins. There you go. And of course, keep adding a little impulsion with your legs like that. Good. Now we're getting there. Good. Like this. Keep him a little more shoulder four. Once again, use your shoulder four to help you engage that inside hind leg. Get him up underneath you a little bit more. Position him a little more shoulder four on your circle. Maybe a little tap of your whip every now and then when he doesn't respond to your leg quickly enough. A little bit more. Bring him up a little bit more. Again, you're starting to sort of you lose everything. If you can keep it a little more active. I love how you're stretching up right now. Tap, give a few more taps and see if we can get this step a little snappier, so to speak. Or a little more alive. There you go, like that. That's gonna be better. Good, keep it coming up. Keep it coming up to there. Good, 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 good. That's better. Now stretch him all the way back down and now lengthen the walk as you go large. 
You tap your whip now coming out of this, so don't let it just fall apart. You tap the whip, then coming through behind again a little more. Stay on your circle there until we get them all the way back down to the stretch and more active. Even more so, that's it. <laughs> a little bit out there in front of you there. And it shut off a little too much. Yeah, exactly. I couldn't get a piece of tension. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I like that. Really good walk now. Good. Now that we have him back stretched again, really make it active for a moment again on the circle. Tap a little bit more so, a little bit more so. Now bring him back up again. Be fairly quick to shorten your range. Little taps of your legs as you're bringing him up. A little tap of your whip now to sharpen him up a little bit behind your leg there. Good. Now keep that coming. Keep on coming up. Shorten your range a little bit more. I think we can get a little bit more. Keep positioning him a little bit. Shoulder four like that. So you use the shoulder four like that to help you bring him up. Like this. That's what shoulder four, what shoulder in, all those exercises are for. A little bit more active, kind of soften him a little more with your outside range so he steps up in that outside rein a little bit more, get a little more control of his shoulder there. That's getting better now. Good. Now stretch him all the way down again. Now really lengthening it out on the circle. Like that. That was quicker that time. Really opening it up. Good. Really opening it up again. Really big swing in that. Good. Like this. Stay on your circle right there. And just ask him to go into a trot on the circle. Come on. Trot. Good. With him, it's just like, you know, with the lunge line. As soon as you get him to move, he's going to go into the stretch. Like that. Really good. Good, keep that, there we go, good now, keep that. Good, keep that, really good. Stay active, keep going. You're gonna <laughs> run us into the wall. <laughs> More active again, all the way down there. Good, I like that, good there, right there, good job. Good, now go ahead and shorten your range a little bit and see if you can come up about midway. So just like you did in the walk. Good, like that. Keep softening him just a little bit so we get a little more flexion. There you go, like that. Very good now. Keep that, keep that. Soften him a little bit, get a little more softening through the jaw and pole. And once again, anytime you need to do that, you position him a little bit shoulder forward to help you keep the back up with the inside hind leg. Keeping that around your circle. Good there, good, good, good flexion, keep that. A little bit more active, good like this, good. Now stretch him all the way back down again on your circle, all the way deep. Come on, let's stretch out. I'm just out here. Now, as you're going around that circle, put your whip in your outside hand one, since that's where he's resisting your outside leg as you come around that circle. So you always want to have the whip where you need it the most. If that's the outside, you put it in the outside like that. Good. <laughs> now you got him listening a little better. Good. Keep that. Now go ahead and go large in that stretch. Keep it like that. Really good. Really good. Now start to bring him up through the short side. So use the short side to help you begin to position yourself a little shoulder forward coming out of that first circle. And then right into a circle there at A. A big circle at A. Trying to get back to that slight feeling of shoulder four on your circle. Like this. Soften him a little bit more with your outside rein, so he's kind of falling through your outside rein just a little bit. Better now. Like that. Soften a little more there. Good. Now go ahead and go large this time down the long side, see if we can maintain it. Good, that's more like it there. And again, circling at E. Very nice. Good, maintain that. Now stretch them all the way down on the circle there. 
Really good. Like that. Good. Get a little more flexion in the hawk every time he does that. Good. Keep that. Good. good. Now keep the stretch and just go large in the stretch. And then change the rain on the next tag. Again, stretching all the way down again. Like that's good. And now go ahead and uh, take your circle there in the center. Got a good stretch all the way down, circling there in the middle when you get there. Good. Deeper again. Get there. Get there. Now bringing him up a bit, and let's see if we can get him to stabilize in the working jaw. Shortening your reins a bit. You need to ask him to soften the jaw and pull by just closing your fingers lightly on the reins, playing with the mouth a little bit. Ask him to soften. They go to softening something, not fighting with something like that. And circle there. Softening him through the jaw and pull a little bit more. Ask him to soften the jaw and pull there, like there. Good. Better right there. Good. Yeah. Stretch him all the way down again. Going like this. Good, very good. There, good, 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 good. Now bring him back up again. Really good now. On your circle there in the center. Just bring him up, shortening your reins. Now think of positioning him a little more shoulder four on your circle. Reins a little bit, ask him to soften the jaw a little bit more. His fingers alive. Yes, position him a little more shoulder forward. Let's see if we can get him to come up a little bit right there. Could it start to be a really good working try? Like that. Good. Keep that. Now go large in the trot and just keep him up in that middle position there. In somewhat of a working trot. Good. Now down the next long side, shoulder four. That's really good now. Got a good trot. Back going. For the shoulder four. Really good right there. Good, 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 good. Right there. It's very nice. Very nicely done. Right there. Very good. Then onto your circle there. Stretch him all the way down. Good. Go ahead and take the diagonal and change the rate in the stretch. Circle here and again develop the working trot. Really good stretch in the trot right there. So now we're just going to bring them up. We want to keep the same trot and just bring his pole up. That's all we're doing. Seeing where we can bring it to without losing the swing to the back. Like this. Very nice. Keep good. Lost a little bit. Now shoulder four down the next long side. Settle into it there. That's good there. Keep it there. Keep it there. Keep it there. Very good. Stretch him all the way down on the circle again. Really good. Really good shot right there. Keep that going. Just like that. Really good. Now bring him up again on the circle, developing the working trot. Stay on the circle. When you get to the side on the other side over here, you're going to ask him to canter. Just going to right where you are there. Just ask for a canter there. 
You can. I think that's get him you Try again. Use your voice command. It will help. Ready? Camp turp. Come on. Camp turp. Try again. As you come to the next wall, right there. Camp turp. Calvin, we did it this week. <laughs> Try again. Ready? Come on. Camp turp. Come on. You can do okay, it. Just, just slow down. Just, just go, go, go ahead and stretch him again. So, Got a really good active trot, so let's work with that again <laughs> in a moment. So just stretch it all the way down. Ah, really good there. Really good trot. Really good trot there. Really good. Good. Keep that really good power in that trot right now. Now bring him up into the working position again. Yeah, good. That's it. Keep working that. That's good. Soften the jaw right there. It's good. Really good right there. So you can keep that right there. Very good work. Very good. Keep that right there. Now go large again. Maintain him in this working position. So you can keep that. And then shoulder four again down the next long side. Good, right there, it's really good. Now circle again. Stretch them all the way down. Really keep it moving and active. Loving this. Yeah, very good. Keep that. I like this. Really powerful. I like this. Excellent trot. Keep that. Now, as you come around, this time change over the center line. So we're going to make a big figure of eight. So as you cross over the center line, change to the left and see if we can keep him in the stretch. As we go right into the stretch to the left. Excellent. Good. Stall this a little bit. Right back into it again. Good. All the way down there. Good. Same thing again. As you come around, change over the center line. Keep him active. Same big swinging trot. Same big stretch. Like this. Really good now. And again, over the center line change. Good. Good. Keep that going on your circle. Good. Keep that. Little tap. There we go. Now bring him up into the working position again. Nice. There. Keep shortening your range a little bit more. Come up a little more. A little more to go. There. I like that. Now it's going to soften right there. Bend him away from your inside leg into that outside range. Think of positioning him a little more shoulder forward to help you hold that frame. There, like that, like that. Keep that shoulder forward. Keep it right there. It's really good. Keep it right there. Excellent work. Now, this time, you're going to try that figure eight again, but keeping him in the working frame now. So as you cross over the center line, change the bend. Everything has to change at once. Position of your shoulders, position of your legs. As you switch now to the left, and keeping in the same position, trying to get right there. A little bit of a stall, but not too bad. Good. Right into that working position. A little tap with that inside leg there a little bit. Keep him off. Now bending him a little bit in this direction. Keeping him a little bit shoulder four. Once you get the same degree of bend that we had the other way. Make another circle this way one time. Tap. Tap. Keep it going. Keep it tight. Right there. Good. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Another circle. Another circle before we change direction. Good. Keep it. Keep it up there. Keep it up there like that around the circle. Keep it going. Keep it going. Now next time you come to the center line, change the bend and go to the right. Keep it just like this. You have it right there. Good. Keep it. Tap. Don't let it change. Right there. Good. He's wanting to get lazy. Tap. Good. Now, this time as you come to the center line, we're going to change the bend. Getting difficult for him. There we go. Like that. And right back into it again. A little tap on this side. See if you can get him right back up into that working frame again before he loses it. Like that. Not bad. Now, stretch him all the way down again. 
Good. And just go larger on the entire ring. Keep that big stretch going now, like this. Now down the next long side, I want you to lengthen the stride and the stretch. Just open them up as much as you can. That's really good. And big trot down this long side. See if we can really get him to lengthen that stride. A little tap. A little more. A little more. There you go. He really starts to open it up a little bit. Like this. Now onto a big circle here. You're doing great. Keep that. Good. Really good there. Tap. Get a little more push just for the last few strides here. We're almost there. Good. Now bring him back up into the working position. So as you bring him up, think of going into that four, a shoulder four position like that. So you, the shoulder, the position starts helping you to hold the frame like this. You're really good there. Keep that, that like that. Keep it right there. Keep it. Keep it. A little tap the inside leg there. You step up into that outside brain a little bit like there. Good, good, good. There, there, there. Good job. And now ask him to walk. <laughs> He heard ah, you. very nice. Then let him stretch out. That was really an another excellent ride by this fellow. And he was, a, you know, you tell he was a little, a little more reluctant to get going today. But once he does, he's gotten a pretty good attitude about it all. Yeah. But that got really nice place. It's really starting to let you come up, and you're beginning to see how you work with it a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm very happy with that. Even though, I, like you said, he came out a little more reluctant than he has been actually. So. Yeah. yeah, but I think that's really good. That was a fantastic job. Questions about that today? No. Um, I think the only thing is, um, for the canter, should I keep trying it, I guess? Yeah. Like, the other no, day I got a great one. Like, he was good. Exactly. Like, we had such a good canter on the lunge line. There's no, no, I don't want to beat you to death about that. I think we may have used him up there. So, once again, on the lunge – keep asking him to do that longer and longer. So okay. once again, if we get to the point where he can sustain that for, you know, three or four minutes at a time, well, then he's probably going to be able to do it with you a lot sure. better, right? That yeah. kind of thing. So that makes sense. But he's afraid his, I mean, everything is happening just as it should with this horse. His top line is changing beautifully. The whole neckline has changed. It really is. I mean, I mean, everything is going just as it, as it should without any particular complications, you know. It's a really nice job. <laughs> Yep. And just beginning to add some more of these, like I did there with you at the end, lengthening, but letting him be in a full stretch, but do the lengthening so it can really come through his back and okay. just see if you can open and close it. So we start doing these transitions within the gate. A little yeah, bit. within the gate. Okay. Yeah. And then pretty soon you'll see the transitions come. He's just not quite ready to hold it. Like today, that's why I went out to the trot because the walk was just too ponderous. He wasn't, you know, he wasn't giving us a nice lively step. Yeah. So we can't get it where we could get it more right in the trot today than maybe we could have. Another day, it'll feel better at the walk. Yeah. So, you know, once again, it's all about figuring out each horse every day of where you're going to, where can I get the best? Where can I keep him the most sure. over his back and all the right things happening so that the next time the canner will be easier. You know, yeah. and just, as we've seen everything else get easier. Yeah. Okay. Great, great job today. I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Keep up the great work. And yep. as I said, just keep extending that canner on the lunge line, making him hold it a little bit longer. We saw today that he could stretch in both directions. So Yeah. And the one direction was great. I mean, he felt looked like he could have just kept doing that. So yeah. That, once yeah. they really start going like that, then they don't feel like they got the brakes on all the time. Yeah. So, yeah. So. Yeah. It was really nice. All right. So we'll take a little couple of minutes here, and then I'll be yep. ready for Don whenever he's here. I'm just here. I've, I've, I've Damien's here doing some work on saddles, so I'm talking to him a little bit. So whenever he's ready, I'm ready in here. Okay. Great job. Sounds yeah, thank great. You. Thanks, Will. Do I need now?
Hey, we are live. Okay, everybody, we're back again, this time with Ron Brangini and Duke. How's it gone with Duke this week? Good, good. We, uh, I don't know if you can see me or not. Uh, I got to work him a bunch. Um, we, we did, uh, Darcy and I did lunge line lessons with him, uh, nice. which has really helped the trot a lot. Um, I've been working, doing um, a lot of walking, here, opening babes. up his walk and stuff, which is nice. Um, oh, don't be so scared. Hey, Darcy. Like, I'm not scared. You're scared. Hang on a second. I'm not scared. You are. Come here. Come <laughs> I don't want you getting this stall all messed up. I don't. You're going to go outside and eat. Guess what you're going to do. You're going to take a shower. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're hearing everything you're saying over there. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Okay, you're back. Okay. The, the well, antics that goes on here at the end of <laughs> Brankini's household. Um, okay. Yeah, so, you know, it went really well. One day uh, we just had a little bit of fun. We worked them, and then we put some ground poles down. So I was doing some trotting over ground poles with them. And, you know, he seemed to be pretty good. You know what I mean? He didn't, you know, he went over them fine. It wasn't a problem. Yeah. Um, he wasn't sucking back or anything like that. So we'll see what we've got today. Yeah, excellent. So, okay, we'll start with a little work in hand then. Well, I did want to mention I did get a little bit larger bit because I think that that yes. might have been uh, being a little bit of an issue. So we'll see if that that's doing sorry, anything. Looks comfortable now. Of course, just stay on the circle and gradually try to open that up so we get moving with a little more active walk. Looking better. Come on. Okay, keep working that, see if we can get a little more. It's getting better. <clears throat> A little better. Keep just keep trying to get a little more activity. Got to tap him a little harder. Do so. A bit, get a little bit more going. And try to push him a little more shoulder forward and see if you can get, get him to stretch a little deeper. Get that inside leg a little more active. Go ahead and go large now down the long side. Try as much as you can to open it up down the long side, see if we can get him to take a longer stride and kind of lengthen his stride a little bit if possible. Getting a little better there. Go ahead and turn by the center line, leg you to the right. There. Got your leg yield. Good. That's good there. Good. That's starting to step over nicely now. Good. Very nice there. Good. Keep that. And go ahead around a circle there. As you come to the center of the um, line, just go ahead and stop and change direction now. 
Taking the other way for a moment. And hold. Good boy, Duke. Good boy, Duke. Good. Good. Go ahead and go large down on the long side. Once again, trying to lengthen it as much as you can. Okay. Getting better. Okay. Look in the shop and see if there's any. Okay. Good. Now lengthen again down this long side. And then when you get to the other end, we'll turn and do a leg yield to the left. It's getting better. We can get a little more step over now. There we go. That's a better position now. Shoulders slightly in advance. That's where you want it. I guess ask for a little more step over. Good. That's getting better. A little more. Step. It's getting better. Good. Go ahead and do that one more time down the center line. Good. Start to get good there by the end of it. Go ahead and do that one more time down the center line and leg yielding to the left. That's it. A little tap, get a little more step over. There you go. There, there. That's what I want to see. Like that. Keep it going. Tap again. Keep it going. There you go. Good now. Keep that all the way over there. You got to stop pushing into me there, Duke. <laughs> go ahead on to a circle there and just setting a little more shoulder four on your circle there. For a if that got a better lively walk out of him. That's getting a better walk now. Keep that going around the circle. Once again, a little more actively pushing his hindquarters to the outside. Being a little a little sterner about it, if you will. Okay, a little more. Give, give him a little more active tap with that whip there. Not that he kind of cares. That's getting better now. Getting better. A little tap. A little more. See if you can make it lengthen around the circle now. Getting better. Good. As you come to the center line there, you can go ahead and stop. Let's go ahead and put him on the lunge line. I think we can do more for him. That was good. He got to a good stretch, but his walk is still kind of slow and ponderous. But as I said, it's, he's a horse that is better off going into a trot at this point. Yeah, and we, we do more of the walking and, and hand work. You know, like when we're doing our own sessions. So. Yeah, you can do it for as long as you like. And I don't know if you've done it. Now, Do you are you using your outside arena at all? Yes. Not as much as we want to because just timing of the day. Yeah. Because um, sometimes it's very hot out. But, yeah, we do use the, the outdoor. Is he any livelier when you're out there? Not really. Not not really about the Not same. Really. So, I mean, some of them can be very different indoor to outdoor, but you know, he's a little I bit better when, when Calvin's in here, he goes a little uh, bit better because there's another horse and, you know, like when we're trotting, 
Um, you know, he'll go a little bit more forward because Calvin's either in front or behind him or something. Yeah, hey, buddy, back up. I'm thinking about him right now. Yeah, you just saw him walk by. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, midday it's pretty hot out there with no shade. No, no bet. <laughs> Where do you guys have places? Can you ride out from your from where you are? Do you have places to ride to from your house? Uh, we just we've got a trail that goes yeah. around the outside of our fence line. It's not yes. anything, but we I have taken him out there a couple times. He, he did okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know he's still getting used to it. I've been walking him on a, with yeah, a walk motor. him around there. <laughs> yeah, everybody. You know, they say if you're out there doing that, maybe walk, work him a little hand and see if he, you know, if he gets some better walk out there. Yeah. He's more interested in seeing where the deer are and stuff like yeah. that. <laughs> but he's, he seems to be okay. Eventually we want to be able to take these guys because there's a couple national forests that have, you know, equine trails there and stuff. You nice. know, you can take them on. They're nice and large yeah. and safe and a lot of people use them. So eventually. Yeah. And just keep trying to see if you can run that lash out and give me little taps and see if we can pick up the tempo of this walk a bit. There we go, like that. That's better. There we go, that's better. I'll go ahead and let him trot for a minute. Perfectly fine. If it goes better than trot, gets him there. Okay, we're going to do some cantering. Yeah, all right. Come on. Good, that's getting better. Keep working up. Good. Come on, drop. Drop. Good, it's getting better. There we go. So he does have, and he does have that in him, but he has that little like Calvin that draft horse thing of you know not being too ready to go right off the bat you know yeah needing that fitness level Good. that's getting better now much better job keep it going Good, I like that. That's what we'll see right there. Good. I'll go ahead and ask him to canter once now. 
Enter. Yeah, that's getting better. Enter. Come. Enter. Keep going for a moment. Enter. <laughs> then go ahead and trot and change your leads back to the other lead. And trot. And again, try that canter. Canter. Good. Canter. Now go ahead and come back to the trot now. And trot. Now you can still see how when he's cantering, he's kind of cantering with the brakes on all the time still. So that's what we're looking to go away, but getting yeah. better. Try to keep that. Good now. That's more like it. Trap. Good, keep that. Nice. Now let him walk again. And walk. Okay, walk up. And then go ahead and halt and change directions. And who? <clears throat> Did you start, and not in any big hurry, eh, Cal? I mean, uh, <laughs> Duke. Duke. Not in any big rush. Better lazy than crazy, though. Just always remember that. We can always add a little fitness to them. Come on, walk on. That's it. Walk on. Go ahead and drop this right. In this case. Uh, that's getting better. Come on. Come on, trap. Better keep it. Good. Now ask him to canter this way. Canter. And trot. That's it. Try again. And trot. Canter. There you go. Right. Canter. 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 And, and back to the trot again. Start and to get a little trot. Easy. Let his neck out in front of him. And look at that big stretch in the trot again. Good. Keep that. Trot. Trot. Come on. Good, keep it going. Good. 
Okay, that's getting better. Keep that. Drop. Yeah. Yeah, keep that for it to get really steady. All the way steady before we stop. Good. 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 That's really good now. Right there. Keep that. Really good shot right there. Really getting loose. Good. Right, keep that. In a couple of minutes. That's a really good shot now. And let him walk. And walk. Good job, buddy. There we go. That got to a really good place. All right, I'm ready for you to get up. That was good. And who? We get that same trot with you up on his back, we will be golden. Yeah, for sure. But that was that last little bit of that was probably the steadiest I've seen him look yet in terms of it just looked like it was going under its own power. Nothing was interfering. Starting to cool off nicely now. Excellent. Same here, actually. We've had a couple of nice days. It got a little hot today, but now it's getting nice. Yeah, it's oh, about dude. 80 right now, but it's the humidity's gone down. All right, Duke. All right. <laughs> Certainly never looks like he's too excited. That's a good thing. Keep checking that bit. I think now it's it's funny because it's like I'm worried it's either too small or too big. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. Looks pretty good from here. Get ready, bud. Come on. Come on. Come on. Take a step. Couple more. Come on. Couple more steps. 
<laughs> it's a compromise. Sometimes it's just easier and quicker. Yeah. <laughs> Good solution. <laughs> What are you doing? I don't know. All right. I'll take a moment when you first get in the saddle to stretch yourself up. Stretching up through your spine. Lifting your chest, engaging your core, lifting your toes. And just keep trying to activate this walk as we go large. Go ahead and turn by the center line, do a couple of steps to the left in the leg yield and see if that begins to open him up a little bit. Yeah, good. That's coming. There you go. Good. Keep that going. There you go. Now starting to happen a little bit. Keep that going. And just go into a circle right where you are there. And see if you can get him to stretch a little deeper into that on the circles. Positioning the little shoulder four. Try to get him to engage that inside hind leg a little more actively. I keep working on that. Just keep asking him to get a little more more active. Try to push the hind quarters over a little bit. Be a slightly more increase of the activity of your whip there a little bit the intensity of it, get a little more response from him. Every horse is a little bit different. Some of them we just barely touch and they're going out of their skin. Others we have to touch a little harder. We keep working on that. This is getting better. And just keep tapping him back there. If you push the hindquarters over and get him to swing out and open up his stride a bit into the stretch. This is better walk. Keep working this like this. Keep it going around your circle. Keep asking the hindquarters to move over to the outside. Okay. Keep that going around your circle. Getting better, still needs to get deeper and more active. So it's all about just turning on that motor. So once again, trying to ask for that inside hind leg. There, there, and now we're starting to get something a little better there. Keep a little more. Again, tap back up your leg there with your whip if you need be. Seem to be a little to respond a little more sharply or quickly. I'm gonna keep working that. So want it deeper yet? Push his hindquarters over a little more actively. And now stretch yourself up a little straighter. Your, your shoulders have gotten a little bit round, shoulder down. But remember, the more we stretch up, the lighter the horse will be. So the more we can really stretch ourselves up, and pull our core in, pull your abdominal muscles in, lift your chest up. Have to feel like you're really stretching up into really good posture to help the horse move underneath you. So it's not that we we don't we want to be relaxed, but we don't want to be so relaxed that we're just like a relaxed sack of potatoes up there, right? We want to be relaxed without stiffening ourselves, but at the same time, we want to hold ourselves in a good posture, just like we want the horse to do. We want it to hold itself in a good posture and lift us up. Well, we have to do the same thing. If we're lazy about it ourselves, the horse will be too. Like that, even a little bit deeper yet. Keep working on that. Just tapping him back there till we get the sign courses to swing out and we get him into a more active walk in, this, in that stretch. Keep tapping him. Just keep trying to move the hind course to the outside. If you have to be a little more intense with your whip, then be so a little so. If it takes a little more 
If, in other words, if you find yourself doing the same thing over and over again, and nothing changes, well, then you know you have to increase the activity. That's better now. Now, once you do increase the activity and you get the correct response, well, then you go back and you act lightly again the next time. But we go through that same circle progression of the age. We go from the lightest age to as strong as we have to to get the response. As long as we're asking is within the, in the realm of possibility. That is, we're not asking to collect. All we're asking to do here is just to be a little more active. And again, push the hind cord a little more out the outside. Still want to see more. Still not quite enough yet. That's getting better and even more tap. That's getting better now. Tap again, even stronger. Keep it going like that, even more. Still push his hindquarters out a little bit more to the outside. Getting better, but still needs to be stronger. Try to move the hindquarters out a little bit. Still trying to get more there, there you go. Now that time you finally got enough and you touched and you came through. So every time you lose that, you know that you've got to do just what you did with enough intensity that it actually gives you what you want, which is what you have now. That's really good now. Keep that around the circle. And of course, when he's right, then that's the time that we want to do nothing at all. Just let him relax a little bit. But of course, he may not, that may only take a stride or two before he reacts and stops moving again. Keep that going. Yeah, well, that's better now. Now I want you to stay on the circle right where you are there. And now ask him to trot. Staying on the circle, we're going to do the same thing we just did in the walk and the trot. So staying on your circle till you can get it active enough. Push to keep pushing the hindquarters to the outside of the circle until we get enough activity that he pushes his back up. Keep going. Keep it going. Don't let him slack off. That's it. Stay after him. He's a little bit lazy. Keep that going. Keep it going. Just an open leading rein just to open your hand to the inside so there's not a lot of backwards pressure on the rein. In fact, no backwards pressure at all. All just, just enough inside rein to keep him circling around the circle while until you get more push off of the inside hind legs. Just keep pushing those hind quarters to the outside more actively. Stronger tap with your whip until he actually responds. Keep it going, keep it going around your circle. There, starting to get it now. There, good, good, you got it. Keep it going. As soon as he pops up, do the same thing again. Tap him a little harder again. That's going to come through. He's just being lazy. All this is all about. Old habits die hard. Keep it going. Good, there, good. Good, keep it going. Same thing again. Every time he pops up, it's just the same thing. Push those hind quarters to the outside actively. Really starts to come through. And again, same thing. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. More active. They keep tapping in with your whip. Still don't need to get more trot up. We're just not quite getting enough push to get anything to happen here. There we go. And again, there, better, better. Keep it going. Tap. Think about how much you had to do when you had her out there helping you with the whip, how much it took to keep him going. So you have to do that on your on your own out there. Keep it going. Good, there we go. That got it. That got it. That got it. Keep it. Good. Stretch yourself up just a little bit. Don't lean forward. That'll make it more difficult for me. Okay there? Yeah. Just <laughs> lost my star for a second. All right. All right. One more time. Tap. Same thing again. Use that inside whip. Just tapping him until he just starts to come through. A little bit stronger. You're still just resisting the contact with your leg. So you just got to hit him strong enough until he finally jumps ahead of your leg once. There, like that. No. Tap again. Tap again. Keep it going. There. No. Keep it going. Tap. 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 
Keep it going. Tap, come right around the circle. Think that you're trying to lengthen him around the circle a bit. Until he gets going. Good, there, there, there. Thing again. Now try to go large around the arena. See if that's better. Is it better if you go in a circle or is it better if you go large? That might be better if you go straight. Try that. See if you can open it up down the long side. Tap, keep it going. There you go. There it's going. Starting to happen now. Keep it going. Keep it going. There, good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Like this. Keep it going. Keep it going. Don't let him stop. Keep it going until he gets free. There, like that. Keep it going. Right out of this corner. Again, try to lengthen the stride down this long side. Just getting enough activity that he starts to push. Tap. He's just kind of a bit of a lazy one. Keep that going. Tap. There. There. Keep it going. Good. Keep it going. 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 There. Now let him walk. And walk. Uh, and just go ahead and change the rain across the next diagonal. Well, you got him there without having the lunge line today, so that's good. But he's, <laughs> I think doing that, continuing to do that every couple of days is probably a good idea until he starts really getting free with you out there. Yep. But this is better. Okay. Good. Let's keep trying to open up that walk a little better. You feel it free like that. It starts feeling like it's moving without struggle or without stopping every stride. It doesn't feel like the brakes are on all the time. Is that going a little more active there? And your circle there? Like that, good. Okay. Good, keep that going. Good. Now, when you get on the long side, whenever you're ready, just put him into a trot. So just like we did the other way, it's just putting him into it till he gets there. There, good. That's getting better. Good. Just keep opening that up. Keep it going. Yep. Yeah, a little strong. Until he starts moving. Just keep going. Now use the corner to give, to give him a little tap as you go through those corners. That's a good time to have, try to get him a little more active as you go through the corner there. And then see if you can open it up down the long side. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Again, coming through the corner here, try to get a little more out of it. Use your whip a little bit there, tapping behind your legs, trying to get him to open up the stride. Good, that's getting better. Keep it going, keep it going, tap, tap. Keep it going. And try to lengthen him down this long side, see if we can get some kind of lengthening out of him. Keep going. Keep going, just don't stop. And again, lengthening on the long side here. That's better, good, get better now. Tap. Now, there. Now lengthen your rein a little bit. So you, there, there you go. Now we're getting there. Good. Keep that. Keep that. Use your whip that back behind your leg. Keep your back really straight. Don't lean forward so you can keep your hips pushing through. You try to feel like your hips are pushing through with each stride, but you're keeping your shoulders back. Again, opening it up. Tap. There. That's getting better now. Just got to get until he starts moving freely. 
That, yeah, good, 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 good. Keep it. Good. After him coming out of this corner, he's got the brakes on again. There, good. Good now. Keep it going. Keep it going like this. Good. Now we have it. Good. Keep this. Keep it. Keep it going. Just like this. Keep it going. Good. Keep it. Good. Keep it going. Just like this. Now it's looking better. Remember, just slow to burn. That's all. Tap here. Good. Coming out of this corner. Now try to lengthen the stride down the long side. They can really push through with your seat. Let's see if you can just get a little more stride out of it. Just going. In. There you go. Like that. Get a little more stride out of it. Like this. There we go. Good. Now keep that. Keep it going. Like this. Like that. Keep it going through this corner. See if you can keep the power running through the turn. He wants to shut off every time we go through a corner there. And again, try to lengthen going down this long side away from you. Just getting him free. Just open up his stride. Like this. All we're looking for him to do. Like this. Good. That's really good now. Keep that. Like this. Keep it going. Keep it going now. Right there. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going through that corner. Nice. Like that. Good. Keep it going. Again, tap there. Coming through this corner. Keep it going. Until it starts feeling like it's moving on its own without us having to intervene every stride. And again, lengthen down this long side. Try to feel like you're just getting the lengthen out. There. It starts to free up again. There. Like that. Good now. Keep that. Excellent. Keep it. Keep it right to this corner. Keep going. Just like that. Good. Keep it going down this long side. Keep it going like this. Good. Keep it going all the way back into that stretch again. Good. Now let him walk. And walk. Now, Boy, stretch out that walk, change the rain across the diagonal. It's getting better. Good boy. The next time we have a lesson, actually, we're going to do something a little different. I do want to do We're going to have the two of you ride together the next time. Okay. This will be fun. So you'll lunge at the same time. You'll both lunge the horses together, and then we'll get on together. In your next lesson, I think it will help him a great deal to have another horse in the, out there with him. Yeah. Keep that going. Better walk now that we get it there. Much better now. Keep that going. He's definitely moving forward a lot better than he was oh, yeah. a couple no weeks doubt. ago, for sure. I mean, we had, to, we had to have a person on the ground to get that the other day. <laughs> so. This is a big improvement. We're getting it slowly but surely. Doesn't have a lot of natural energy, but it will come as he gets more, more and more in shape and more over his back. Keep that going now. Now, when you get halfway down the long side, just as quickly as you can put him into a trot. Just that active trot and right away lengthen down the next long side. Like that, good, that's a pretty good start off, good. And just active, so right away you're just starting to lengthen, you're asking it to lengthen, you're going through the corner, giving a touch, until he actually pushes hard enough to start beginning to swing through his back, keep it going, keep it going, tap with the whip, but lengthen your rein, so be sure you don't pull back with your rein and when you use your whip. And again, opening the stride down the long side, think of lengthening it up, lengthening it, lengthen it, until he gets all the way, with, all the way back to that free movement again that we had a minute ago, it takes him a while to lock in. Keep it going, 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 keep it going. More active, get after him a little bit stronger there, coming down the long side. There you go, he finally starts to listen. He's not a super sensitive boy like that. So sometimes we have to be a little stronger like that. Keep that going right to the short side. Don't let him stop on that corner. Good, keep it going to the corner. He slows down because it's a lot more work for him to turn the corner than it is to go in a straight line. So he wants to slow down and not have to keep doing the same work. Good, like there, that's really good now. Keep that trot, really good now. Keep that, keep that. Keep it going to this end down here. As soon as he starts to shut off, start tapping him with that whip, get him ahead of your leg again. Gets overthinking, it's gonna stop all the time. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going like this. Good now, good, good now, good. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Now walk. And walk. 
very nice. And then we stretch out in that walk again, change the rain on the next diagonal. Good. Come on, walk out. I think he's getting distracted going because the door is open, but he's got to get over it. Yeah, exactly. This, he, there's always going to be something that they can. Exactly. You know, I think there's always going to be something they can have their tent. Oh, I want to look at that. Yep. Take it over. It. Wow. Good. Much better walk now. Keep that. Walk on there, buddy. Come on. Walk. That's it. Keep it going. Not done yet. Not quite. Almost. <laughs> Come on, the circle here. Come on. There we go. Come on. Uh, Gotta walk. Oh, aren't we done? There we go. One more stretch. Good like that. You want me to go large again? Yeah, just go ahead and turn towards the center line. I think we're going to be done with that. I think that enough. I don't want to try to make him do it again. Back there, but that ended in a good place. You can stop anywhere there, and you made his mouth. Good boy, Duke. Great job. It gets easier every time. It's not easy yet, but it gets easier every time I see you. As I said, a couple of lessons ago, we were having to have somebody out to the lunge line to get it going. So yeah. that's way better than it was. So, oh, good. It will just keep continuing to improve. But the next time we have a lesson, yeah, let's plan on having both of you at the same time. So we'll start together and have both horses ready to lunge. So we'll start, we'll lunge them both. And that will actually be good for both of them because they'll have two in here lunging at the same time. They kind of picks up their... You know, see if it helps these two, and then we'll have the two of them ride together and see yeah. how that see how that does. So yeah, I mean that's that's basically the way we train during the week, anyways. Oh, good. Okay. okay. Well, then so let's plan on doing that next week. So we're going to have a lesson with the two of you at the same sure. time next time. Can we yeah, also yeah, so switch we'll, horses? I'm kidding. We can do that at some point. Too. We can do all of those a, things. A different day. <laughs> a different day. For the first day, let's just have them both at the same time and see uh, and see how they go together. So once again, I'm hoping this this one will. As I said, it's good for them both. Yeah. It helps to pick them up. They'll be lunging at the same time, so they get you know little they work off of each other, feed off of each other a little <laughs> bit. So that'll be a good thing. Any questions today, you guys? I was very happy with where they got to with both of them, though. No, I'm no, I'm don't. feeling good about it. Um, I, you know, I'm happy. I think I'm happy with the bit. It's not yeah. pushing them, so that that's good. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm not working as hard as I was to get yeah. it to move, and that's yeah. huge. So, and I think exactly. it's because he's starting to build up muscle and exactly. stuff. So. It will just keep getting easier and easier as time goes on. Pretty yeah. soon he'll be flying around the arena. Won't be long. <laughs> Perfect. All right, you guys, great work today. I look forward to seeing you next week, same time, same channel. Sounds good. Sounds good. Excellent. Okay, right. you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Right. You too. Thanks. Thank you. Yep. Here, I can grab. Oh, Duke. You and